myself patel rupal from mahatma gandhi institute of technical education and research center now sir in previous video lecture we learn examples of complex integration by indefinite integration of analytic function today we are going to learn examples of complex integration by using the part example first example irregular integration c the real part of the division where c is the shortest part from 1 plus i to 3 plus 2 now we know that we can write 1 plus i is also write 1 1 and 3 plus 2 is 3 2 therefore this question is also asked as evaluate integration c real part of the division where c is the shortest part from the vertices 1 1 2 3 2 2 now solution now first take the integration therefore let integration i is equal to integration c real part of z dz here we have to give c is the shortest part therefore we have to convert in cartesian form that means we know that z is equal to x plus i y therefore z is equal to dx plus i dy and real part of z is x therefore integration we can write i is equal to integration c x dz is equal to dx plus i dy This is equation number one. Now here x and y two variables. That means we have to convert either x variable or y variable using the shortest path. Therefore, first we have to draw the shortest path. Now the shortest path is this. Here this point is one one and three two. Now this shortest path is line. Therefore. We have to find the equation of line. If we know that the equation of line, then we can write type. But if we don't know the equation of line, then we have to use the equation of line. Uh, therefore, the equation, the formula for line is x minus x zero divided by x one minus x zero is equal to y minus y zero divided by y one minus y zero. Here we have to give us two points, one one and three two. That means one one is equal to x zero y zero and three two. That means x one y one. Now put this value in this formula. Therefore, x minus one divided by three minus one is equal to y minus one divided by two minus one. Now simplify this equation. Therefore, x minus one divided by two is equal to y minus one divided by one. Now we have to simplify this equation by this way. Therefore, x is equal to two y minus one. This is the equation of the shortest path we have to give us. X is equal to two y minus one. Now x is equal to two y minus one. Therefore, dx is equal to two dy. Now we have to convert either x. Then we have to put the value of y and dy. If we have to convert in y variable, then we put the value of x and dx. Here we have to convert in x variable. That means we have to put the value of dy. Therefore, dy is equal to dx by two. Therefore, equation one becomes i is equal to integration c x as it is dx as it is and dy is equal to dx by two. Therefore, i into dx by two. Now, all the variables in x. Therefore, limit of x we have to take here. Therefore, limit of x is one two three. Therefore. I is equal to integration one two three x. Here the x is common. Therefore one plus i by two into the x. Now 
therefore limit of x limit of x is 0 to 2 along c1 therefore limit 0 to 2 x square dx now integration x square is x cube by 3 therefore i1 is equal to x cube by 3 0 to 2 now first put up a limit then lower limit 2 cube is 8 therefore 8 by 3 minus 0 by 3 is equal to 8 by 3 this i1 i1 is equal to 8 by 3 same is allow to see 2 now we know that allow to see 2 the equation of line is x is equal to 2 therefore x is equal to 2 that implies dx is equal to 0 because the derivative of constant is 0 now put the value of
वन वन प्लस आई और एन आई सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वर्ड कंसिडर्ड इन इंटीग्रेशन आई दैट द लेट आई इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन सी मार्ट जेड स्क्वायर डी जेड नाउ दैट वी हैव गिवन वी आर पार दैट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट जेड इन कार्टेशियन फॉर्म दैट वर वी नो दैट जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस आई बाय दैट वर डी जेड इज इक्वल टू डी एक्स प्लस आई डी बाय ना we know that mod z is equal to one plus x square plus y square therefore mod z square is equal to x square plus y square now put the value of mod z square and d z in i therefore i is equal to integration c x square plus y square into next bracket d x plus i d y now we have to convert either x variable or y variable we will use the given part that we have to given we have four vertices we have to draw the square that for this point is 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 therefore this two points 0 0 and 1 0 and we have to given one line same as 1 0 1 1 1 the line same as part and four that means we have to given here First part is C1, second is C2, third is C3, and fourth is C4. Now we know that the equation of line along C1 is y is equal to zero. Same as the equation of line, this line along C2 is x is equal to one. Same as line equation of this line is y is equal to one. And equation of this line, that means along C4, is x is equal to zero. Therefore, C is converted into four parts: C1, C2, C3, C4. Therefore, I is equal to integration C1 x square plus y square dx plus i dy plus integration C2 x square plus y square dx plus i dy plus Integration C three x square plus y square dx plus i dy plus integration C three C four x square plus y square dx plus i dy. Now that for i is equal to i one plus i two plus i three plus i four is equation number one. That means we have to find the value of i one, i two, i three, and i four along the path. C1, C2, C3, C4 correspond. Now first, along C1. That means along C1, the equation of the line is y is equal to zero. Therefore, y is equal to zero. Derivative of this term, therefore, the dy is equal to zero. Now put y and dy in I1. Therefore, we know that I1 is equal to integration C1. x square plus y square dx plus i dy therefore put the value of y and dy here therefore i1 is equal to integration c1 x square plus 0 square is 0 plus dx plus i into dy dy is equal to 0 that means 0 therefore integration x square into dx this integration we have to convert in x variable that means the limit of Along C1 is 0 to 1. Therefore, I1 is equal to integration 0 to 1 x square dx. Now we know that integration of x square is x cube by 3. Therefore, I1 is equal to x cube by 3. The limit is 0 to 1. Now put the upper limit minus lower limit. Therefore, I1 is equal to 1 by 3 minus 0 by 3. One by three minus zero by three is equal to one by three. Therefore, I one is equal to one by three. Now, along C two, along C two, the equation of the line is x is equal to one. Therefore, x is equal to one. Now, derivative of this term, dx is equal to now derivative of one is zero. That means the dx is equal to zero. Now, put the value of x and dx in I two. Therefore, I two is equal to integration C two. X square is equal. 
equal to 1 plus y square dx is equal to 0 plus i divided. Now i is constant then in outside integration therefore i integration 1 plus y square divided. Now this term is converted to y variable. Therefore limit of y along the zero is 0 to 1. Therefore i2 is equal to i integration 0 to 1 1 plus y square divided. Now integration of 1 is y and integration of y square is y cube by 3. Therefore i2 is equal to y plus y cube by 3 and the limit is 0 to 1. Now first put the upper limit and then lower limit. Therefore 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 0 plus 0 is 0. Therefore 1 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3. Therefore I2 is equal to 4 by 3 I. Now allow the secret. Allow the secret. The equation of line is y is equal to 1. Therefore y is equal to 1. Derivative of this term is dy is equal to 0. Now put the value of y and dy in i3. Therefore i3 is equal to integration c3 x square plus y square. y square is equal to 1. And dx plus i dy. dy is equal to 0. Therefore i3 is equal to integration c3 x square plus 1 into dx plus i 0. Therefore, I3 is equal to integration x square plus 1 dx. Now, this term is converted in x variable. Therefore, limit of x along the c plane. Limit of x is 1, 2, 0 along the c plane. That means I3 is equal to 1, 2, 0 x square plus 1 dx. Now, integration of x square we know that x cube by 3 and integration of 1 we know that x. Therefore, x cube by 3 plus x and limit is 0, 1, 2, 0. Now put the upper limit minus lower limit. That means 0 cube plus by 3 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 1 by 3 plus 1. Now we know that 1 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 by 3. Therefore, I3 is equal to minus 4 by 3. Now, set as along C4. Now, along C4, the equation of line is x is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0. Now, derivative of this term, therefore, dx is equal to 0. Therefore, put the value of x and dx in I4. Therefore, I4 is equal to x square is equal to 0, that means 0 plus y square dx is equal to 0, that means 0 plus i dy. Therefore, i4 is equal to integration c4, 0 plus y square into next bracket 0 plus i dy. Here i is constant, the now said integration. Therefore, i4 is equal to i integration 1 to 0 y square dy. Here same is the variable is covered y. Same as this equation covered into y variable. Therefore, limit of y along c4 is 1 to 0. Therefore, i4 is equal to i integration 1 to 0 y square dy. Now, integration of y square is y cube by 3. Therefore, i y cube by 3, the limit is 1 to 0. That 
minus 4 by 3 minus i by 3. Now this is the real term. Therefore, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 by 3. Plus, this is the imaginary term. Therefore, i is common. Therefore, i in next bracket, in bracket 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Now, 1 by 3 minus 4 by 3 is minus 3 by 3. Plus i. 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is 3 by 3. That means minus 1 plus i. Therefore, i is equal to minus 1 plus i. Therefore, the given integration, integration c, mod z square dz is equal to minus 1 plus i. Along the side of this square with vertex is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0. Now, exercise. First, solve integration c thereby dz from z is equal to 1 minus i to z is equal to 3 plus 2i. That means here we have to give one z, uh, z bar and dz from the shortest part. That means we have to convert in x or y variable using z is equal to 1 minus i and z is equal to 3 plus 2i. Next, evaluate integration c x square minus i y square dz along the parabola y is equal to 2x square from 1 to 2 to a. That means here we have to given parabola. That means we have to given 